Well, welcome to the 2012 Peconic Stages. As we're heading off the start line now of Special Stage 3, we're heading down to what should be two long way round triangles. My understanding is that we're only going to be using one of them in this particular direction. We missed the first one here on the right. We're now heading down towards the main straight. There's basically just over a car's width of really good tarmac, which has just been recently laid, going right down the middle of this. However, just be careful, don't wander off the edge, because there's about a four inch drop, and it will probably drag you into the undergrowth on either side. So just stay in the middle as we head down towards the obelisk. Now, this will be heavily bailed on the day, so it will be a lot narrower to protect the two stone pillars. Then, heading this way, we're going to be forking off right into an immediate square left. Just be careful of the puddle, and also watch out, there are some big stones buried in the undergrowth. And what Be careful on the inside of this bend, there's quite likely to be something put there in order to stop you cutting. Then we've got a cattle grid, which is right opposite the house here. And we're heading down to the crossroads, which during the course of the day will be approaching and departing from various ways. This way, there's likely to be a chicane there, it's likely to be quite tight as well as we head with the this spectator the area and the service area on your left hand That's side. Fine. And that's, that's the service area in there. So we take this 90 left again, just be careful because there's likely to be a, a couple of straw bales on the inside to artificially tighten the corner and also make sure that you don't drag any muck into the road. As we head along here, there's a series of three speed bumps, and it's number one. As you can see in a road car, they're quite harsh, but when taken at speed, they're pretty much okay. Now we're now heading downhill, and we're coming towards the ancient bridge, which you mustn't knock over. So what we've done here is there's going to be a chicane immediately before it using this road here on the right. You're going quite deep. The reason is that there's going to be straw bales narrowing the approach to the bridge and hopefully what you'll be doing is you'll be taking it in almost a straight line. So hopefully you won't be too sideways going over there. This next bend is quite a difficult one, it's a 60 degree bend, probably turns into a 90 degree bend, it goes up steep hill as well, and then over a cattle grid on the exit. As you're heading up the hill, be careful not to cut the corners too much, the reason being is that there are trees that are close to the road, and also there are a number of tree roots that have just lifted up the tarmac a little bit. So if you cut it too much, you're likely to get a puncture. So we're coming towards the end of the stage now. We're not going to be using this long way round triangle on your left hand side because effectively it's too tight and it will just create a heck of a lot of mess. So we're going straight through here. And now we're heading up towards the end of the stage. When we get here, there's likely to be an extended chicane which will take up the road on the left and the road on the right just before you head straight across the finish line which will be positioned just before the house 
and just before you cross over the counter grid. That's the cattle grid that lifted. <laughs> so if you go up there, turn around.